Now to uh, someone who is walking on air this morning, Frosty, Mark Winterbottom. He's been crowned the season's V8 supercar champion and he did it well, didn't he? He only had to finish uh, better than 14th in all those races. He did that in style. The Ford racing legend joins us now after getting the victory. And Mark, you did say you were going to party hard, buddy. How'd you go? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit sore, a little bit sore, but uh, a good sore, um, you know, to wake up this morning. It's starting to sink in, to be honest, because, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just been a massive year and, and to finally hold the trophy and, and, uh, and celebrate last night with the crew and all the team and um, some sponsors and stuff, it was, uh, yeah, it was huge. It was a good night and those eye drops, there, they work wonders because I woke up this morning looking real average and the eyes have come good, so um, yeah, I'm going all right. You've been on to Dickie Wilkins this morning, he sent some across. Now, you cheered through the radio, they were beautiful pictures with you and your, your lovely wife and, and the kids there, but you cheered through the radio saying you wished your mum was there. It was really, really high emotion, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, they, they've, uh, you know, mum's definitely been a big part of my career and um, yeah, she was. Uh, she wanted three things effectively. She said uh, she wants to see me get married, um, meet my meet her grandkids, and win a championship. So uh, I only did two of those three things while she was here, but um, finally ticked them all off. And uh, yeah, I've had her on my helmet. Uh, my, my painter actually painted her on my helmet this year, so I felt like she's ridden with me, although she's not here. Um, yeah, it was awesome. So um, you know, like they say, one day you end up going up and hanging out again and, and having some beers or some wines or whatever she wants to drink and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up again and talk about it but um, yeah awesome to have so much support and uh, to finally get it done after so many years of trying um, you know it's, it's really really cool. Yeah you've been there or thereabouts for so long so many great drivers could this be the start of a, a Ford era? Uh, who knows it's um I was getting sick of wearing that bridesmaid's uh, dress, to be honest. It was getting a bit, um, <laughs> a bit ordinary, so uh, it's nice to put the suit on tonight and actually be the winner. And, uh, you know, we, we, we finally won one. And our team has been, you know, trying for so many years. I've been trying for so many years. And uh, when you go to the gala awards tonight, we've always sat there and watched someone else get this trophy. And for once, it's, uh, it's our turn. And, you know, it's great to see Ford as well win. You know, I've only ever driven a Ford Falcon. Um, and to win it in the Falcon in this era uh, as well makes it even more special. So it's awesome and, you know, it, it's nice to see the Blue Oval and all the fans back at the front. Yeah, you continue to be a great ambassador for the sport. You've got a big announcement happening at 11am. Tell us a bit about that this morning. Yeah, we're unveiling a, a, a car for uh, with a number one on it for this year, so or for next year, I should say. So, um, yeah, that's really cool. Down in Sydney, back in the hometown, um, for show and tell and bring my race car so it's pretty cool to come in and put it on display out here and, and that number one's going to look really cool on it and we've worked so hard for it and it might only be a number but we've worked so hard for it and it's going to be the best number I've probably ever seen on a race car it's going to be really cool. Just lift that trophy up give us a look at the silverware one more time I know it's a bit difficult after a big night on it just lift that up just slightly the trophy as we see it there it is yeah. there it is Mark Winterbottom's <laughs> name Good on you, mate, and it look all the best uh, for Christmas for you and your beautiful wife and children, and congratulations on the big win. Thanks, guys. I'm sorry if there's a bit of beer stains in the trophy, <laughs> but need to um, apologise. Yeah, it was. Uh, it holds uh, about one and a half, one and a half crownies. So uh, yeah, I'll come and I'll come and share some with you. Thanks, yeah, guys. I think we can help you out with that, and, and the eye drops. We'll give you a new, <laughs> new box of eye drops. There you go, Lisa and Pete. That baby will go straight to the pool room. Yes, straight. Oh, yeah, Daryl Kerrigan. <laughs> All right, time now. For